Hello everyone, Black Ice here and welcome back to another Minecraft Snapshot Overview. This one is 13W39A and it is not a very big one but it is a very, uh, a very cool one I think. Uh, the Canyon Biome, also known as the Mesa Biome, that's the real name for it. Um, I didn't get to show this biome in my first video when I went over some of the new biomes but uh you know I'm just gonna take a little fly over here and uh it looks absolutely beautiful I mean you, you gotta love it you got a, a little bit of trees on top in some places so it's not completely barren and dead but although the leaves kind of are ugly and whatnot but anyway there is also some pools of water lots of dead bushes everywhere and the reason we're here is because, well, obviously there is a new change that has to do with this biome, and I'm going to go, wait a minute, wait, that cactus right there, is that, is that growing in clay? Is that the hardened clay there? Boom. Wrong. It is red sand. This is a new block. Um, it's basically got the same properties of sand, except it's red. I believe the blast resistance and everything's exactly the same, and also... When you smelt it, you do just get normal glass, so no red glass, unfortunately. Um, but that's that. Um, I think it's a really nice block. It definitely makes the canyon look a lot better than it used to before. And I, I keep saying the canyon. It's the Mesa biome, but, I, I mean, I just keep calling it a canyon because, I don't know, it just reminds me of the Grand Canyon for some reason, even though I've never been there or seen it myself. But uh, anyway, it makes it look a lot better as opposed to having it with regular sand. I mean, imagine if this was all, like, this color sand right here. And just for, uh, I'm just going to put a little bit on the ground right here. Just imagine if this was all this instead of the red sand. You know, obviously that would look kind of bad. Well, in my eyes it does. It looks so much better with the red sand. I'm so glad they ended up changing that, and, um... The reason why this is an important thing to mention in this video, uh, well, obviously it is a new block, while well, it is the same as sand in many ways, but um, it is a change to one of the new biomes, which means that it is possible that the other new biomes could change as well, so uh, we're going to have to keep an eye out for that. And uh, the second and unfortunately final main change that they've had is uh, these command block minecarts. Yeah, you can get a minecart and a command block now, but the only way to get them, oddly enough, and by the way, here's the red sand in the uh, creative menu, right next to the sand. Oddly enough, those uh, those command block minecarts aren't in this menu at all. And you also, it's called like minecart with something, yeah. Minecart with, and obviously the command block one isn't there. The only way you can get these is to do the slash give commands like slash give your player name and the 422 and I'm going to demonstrate it right here so slash give black ice 4047 and 422 there we go and uh that will give you one minecart with command block I think you can also let's type that again how do you there we go and let's say two that should give us two I think yeah okay so uh, obviously you can do that, um, oops, and the way these work is you, they have to be on a powered activated rail and whatever command you give them, which unfortunately I do not know how to work with command blocks really at all, but um, if you're one of those people that uh, is a map maker or is interested in making maps or just m interested in having fun messing around, you can use these to do a variety of things, like when they go over this powered activated rail, you have to have this powered by redstone or something. Well, I should stay like a redstone torch or something, anything with redstone power, but um, it will do that command every time it is powered by this activator rail. So if you had like a slash summon command, you could have like an infinite spawner if you had this going back and forth. And you could have it summoning like zombies or something back and forth through there. Unfortunately, I don't know how to do that. Otherwise, I'd do that as a demonstration or something. But um, this is pretty cool too. I thought it was interesting that they decided to include this in a minecart. But at the same time, that makes a lot of things a lot easier. Instead of like maybe hooking it up to a clock, you could just have it go along the rails in a circle or a straight line back and forth. And you could do that continuously instead of the clock. And also... You know, obviously you can unpower it by uh, 
not powering the activator rails or the um uh what do they call the powered rails yes so um that's pretty much it for me for today. Um, I will include a full changelog in the description, so if you want to see some of the other bug fixes they made and even some of the other minor changes they've made, uh, I will include that in the description for you guys as well as directions on how to get this snapshot. This is just beautiful every time. I love it. And one thing I want to mention before I go, um, where is it? This, the super secret setting. I would not recommend messing with that much in this snapshot. Because what happened to me was, I was messing with it just to see if there was any more, if any were added. And uh, unfortunately the entire screen went black and I couldn't see anything at all. And I had to restart the game, so uh, that's a little buggy, buggy for now I guess. Um, but anyway, that's going to do it for me for today, so uh, I'm going to leave it at this awesome view of this Mesa biome. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you all for watching, and I hope you're... Excited for 1.7 even more now. I mean, just think of it. With this red sand in the command blocks, you have like a Mars adventure map. That'd be pretty cool. So I hope you were more excited for 1.7, and I hope you learned a thing or two in this video. Again, thanks all, thanks to you all. Wow, I can't even talk today. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, everyone. Have a great day.